Welcome to the Life Abridged Spring Countdown, Episode 7, where we will be counting down moments 20 through 16 of March, April, and May. In this moment, from *To Exorcist D. Gray Man, episode 5, we see a parody of a classic comedy routine. May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you is answering. Shut up! You! Yes? Not you, him! What's your name? Me. Yes, you! I am me. He's me. And I'm you. And I'm about to whoop your old ass, man, because I'm sick of playing games. You, me, everybody's ass around here. Him? Cut your, cut I'm going to kick his ass. I'm ticking it! If there's anything that a reference to a parody of a comic routine needs, it's a menacing background with birds and people holding swords. In this moment, from Semisoma 1's Eureka 7 Episode 1, we see something that is a common frustration to those of us who have forsaken the television for our computers. This is fabulous. Oh no, no, no! This moment is truly the climactic end to my- Oh, oh son of a This bitch. is why I never use Mega Upload anymore. It's still going for me. <laughs> that was funny, huh? You guys are missing it. I'd say something remotely witty here, but that joke just hits way too close to home. In this moment from Reigns Creator's Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 23, we see Bastion quite possibly mixing his metaphors. Students, listen up. I came to this school 30 years ago with the hopes of literally whipping kids like you into shape. Unfortunately, they took away my strap. Look, the point is, I know I've been hard on you, but one day I know you'll make me proud. Well, he may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's still a tool. Way to undercut a character developing moment there, Bastion. In this moment from Alter Scride's Scride Abridged 5, we see some very obvious jokes being made. My name is Asuka Tachibana, handler of balls, and none have withstood my balls. None! Impossible! My balls aren't there! <laughs> oh man, did you really just say that? Ah, my balls just dropped! Good for you, and while you're at it, you can try some shocking first bullet! Oh come on, my balls can take much more punishment than that! Now I'll show you the power of my ball shaft! Your shaft is no match for my annihilating second bullet! Ha! Hand beat shaft! How could... how did my balls fail me? Some people say you need to quote Shakespeare or have a political reference to get on this list, but sometimes you gotta go back to the classics. In this moment from Little Karibo's Yu-Gi-Oh! 37, we see Marek have a bit of a breakdown because of all of the ridiculousness. Hey, what's the f***ing hold up? Stop having a flashback and throw that f***ing puzzle! No! I can't... Do it! It's over, Yugi! I activate Meteor of Destruction! Joey! Yugi! Oh god, what have I done? You did it! No! What kind of cheesy cab ass bullshit ending is this? I activate Mystical Rift Panel! Now I can aim your attack wherever I choose to, Joey, and I choose myself. Yugi! No! I just wanted you to know how important your friendship is to me, Joey. It means even more to me than card games. Okay, is it just me, or do episodes like this make people actually want to see the original show? And now it's time for another This Quarter In. In a bit of a bait and switch from my original plan, I've decided to, instead of doing another show, do a phenomenon, and this time that phenomenon is collaborations. While it is no secret that the trend in abridging has been from the single-person project to the collaboration, 
This quarter is interesting in that regard because we see a, a distinct escalation in that from uh, from what we had seen before. We see uh, series like Reign the Conqueror and Utena, which are new series coming out, starting with a plan of more collaboration. Uh, HBI2K's Escaflone continuing with its uh, cast of more than one, certainly even more than two. Uh, Glass Fleet having uh, a whole slew of cameos from the abridging community. And uh, Teen Titans, of course, continuing. That did start out as a collaboration, of course. And uh, same with Bleach Soma and the other uh, Semi Soma One projects. So this collaboration obviously can cause good and bad effects. We've got times when it can become a bit less than the sum of its parts. I think that that is a part of the issue with uh, DBZ, certainly. But then there are times when it just makes a lot of sense. You've got people working together in a more manageable uh, way for lots of these, uh, contributing voices here and there to make the characters sound alike. Obviously, this works best when you have an editor that can edit it all together, as many of these series do. Ultimately, this is going to be the trend in abridging. I th expect that we're going to see more and more series starting out episode one with uh, more of a collaborative effort on the voicing. Certainly, I think that that is definitely the direction that we're going to continue to go in, and it's not going to be just uh, a voice here and a voice there. You're going to see more projects uh, getting off the ground with uh, groups of uh, voice actors. What I like about you.